In this Roblox Studio Beginner's Guide, I am going to show you some of my tips on how to use Roblox Studio. Firstly, I want to thank the new subscribers for joining my channel. If you are totally brand new to Roblox Studio, then this video is for you. For those that are a little more advanced, you might have overlooked a few things that Roblox actually provides you, which I will cover now. For example, I have opened Roblox Studio and I am on this new tab. These are Roblox pre-made templates. Some of these have code and things in them that you can use to kickstart your game development. Let me show you first with this obby. Moving around in Roblox Studio takes a bit of practice. To move the camera around, right click and hold while you move your mouse like this. Then use your arrow keys to move forward, back, left, and right. Combine the right mouse hold and mouse move together with arrow keys like this. Okay, great. So this is an obby and it works already. Can you see those red squares? They have a script attached to them that kills the player. That means there is code here. This might be useful to you in another game. Let me show you what I mean. These five lines of code you can reuse in your game. Specifically, when the player touches a part and you want to damage the player. You see in a game. At some point if you want to make a good game. You need to have scripts in your game. Because, that is when you get to tell the program, what is going to happen. In this case, we are telling it to check if a player touches this part. If that is true it's going to reduce the player's health to zero. You don't need to understand exactly what these five lines mean. You just need to know, this script damages the player if they touch a part. For example, let's copy this code and add it to another part. Click this tab to go back to the obby workspace. I am going to add this script to a part near the start. Click the part to select it. Hover over and click the plus sign. Choose script. Paste the script into this file, removing the hello world line. That's done. So this part is going to kill our player. Let's run the game to test it. To run the game, choose the test tab up here. And then click on play. Okay, let's jump on this square and see what happens. So, we should probably change the color of that square to red. It's good game design. To change the color of a part, just click the part to select it. And then change the color like this. I like to reuse things. Here I am duplicating the part, to add two new parts to this obby. This is the move tool, click that model tab to find it. Then click and drag like this to move the part. I don't want these parts to kill the player. To fix that, I should remove the scripts from these two parts and change the color of the parts to gray. Let's run it again to check this. Click on the test tab and then click on play. I'm going to jump on these and see if only the red part kills me. Yeah, that tells me it's working as expected. Okay, we have made some changes to this game. So let's save it. Choose, save to Roblox as. And give it a name. If you are ready to publish your game to Roblox for others to play, this is how you do that. Okay, let's quickly look at a few of the other templates. Have a look at the scripts in these template games. The main scripts will be under server script service. It may be useful to reuse some of this code if your game is similar. While you might not understand this right away, it's always useful when learning to look at something that is working. And this game works. Have a look at this team arena game. There are some very useful scripts in this one. It has main game script, game manager, and loads more. The last one to check out in this video is starting place. Did you know, this has some pretty cool stuff in here that you can use in your game. It has tutorials on how to do a few things. Let's have a quick look. See it is showing you how to use the scale tool. 
Watch how I use it. Just select scale from the model tab. And use it like this, click and drag. Click to select the part and then drag it like this. Here is a chest that gives an item, which might be useful if you need this in your game. Just click the chest and see what the script is attached to it. Okay, that might do for this video. We learned a lot here. Our first obby game. Moving within Roblox Studio, copying and adding a script to a part. Playing or testing our game. Duplicating a part and deleting a script, change a part color. And loads more. In the next video, I might start a Roblox simulator game from scratch. And just do a huge series, until we have a completed game. It will be the mother of all tutorials. And will take some time. But it will have everything in it. Let me know in the comments what type of simulator game I should make. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.